which is better imagine ai or after shoot so let's begin okay so the first thing we need to do about uh, imagine ai basically it refers to a platform for the use of artificial intelligence in image analysis and recognition tasks so um it helps in identifying and categorizing objects within an image or a video so basically i've been using this platform for quite some time and it helps me optimize my workflow all right so if you are like a wedding photographer a portrait portrait photographer it's it's um practical to use this imagine AI or try, at least try it for you to check if it's gonna be the best platform or app for you that can save you time for your workflows now here basically imagine analyzes your previous photo edits to create your personal ai profile all right so that's uh, one thing you can then apply the uh, profile to your lightroom classic catalog at a less than one half second per photo now the ai profile will know what to adjust say for example wh whether it's white balance exposure color correction and more all right so sometimes the ai can detect your habits and patterns so it automatically applies to your current settings now with imagine you're always in control you can review the results in lightroom and tweak them and imagine will continue to learn and evolve with you with your style in photo editing right it also has a cloud backup tailored for photographers in search for a hassle-free and secure solution for storing their photos the imagine cloud seamlessly and automatically handles your project backups as you call and edit then the optimized photos for feature retains higher resolution while compressing each photo by 75 percent when downloaded resulting in four times storage cost saving now imagine leverages ai to simplify the calling phase of photographer's workflow calling removes duplicate images blinks blurry results or photos with poor composition and these are all set aside automatically so imagine can work on images worthy of editing right so for example this one duplicate it's a keeper so really now also they pride on protecting your privacy the photos that you upload will only be used to create your personal ai profile and edit your photos and you can rest assured that the photos will always be private and secure your personal ai profile will not be shared with anyone else using imagine allows you to maintain your gdpr compliance now these are some testimonies but i can attest to uh, the uh, the efficiency of imagine because i'm using it myself for like a year now and it helps me optimize my workflow and i'm more efficient it's not perfect yes but at the same time the trade-off is it's better it's like five times better than the traditional or default presets on your lightroom right now if you're wondering about the pricing you might want to go here at pricing to check if it's fits your needs your goals or your budget now you have the options for us pay as you go there's no commitment all i'm gonna do is check on that the plan includes like this one you still have access all talent ai profiles you have a 24 7 support the cloud storage is 100 gb for three months which i think is not enough if you are editing highlight a uh, high definition photos right but if you wanted to enjoy flexibility with a minimum of seven dollars a month added to your editing credits simply just you can use this as testing waters all right and if you are happy you can always you know upgrade to a 65 dollars per 0.5 per month all right and also the 100k plus photos here all right a tailored high volume plan which includes custom adaptations dedicated account managers and a personal plan all right so you can get full access here beyond editing cloud storage and whatnot so i suggest you go here to check if imogen is for you all right so again i'm using imagine and um I, i'm really happy with uh the way it works for me right so you might want to try this as well now we next 
we go to our next contender which is this is another platform that is currently my favorite because after shoot uses ai based algorithms to automatically call and edit photos from large shoots making light work for the uh, tedious tasks so here you can explore all the uh, features like um, ai assisted calling speed up your calling with aftershoot ai because it will analyze and pick the winning shots while separating and grouping duplicates blur images and photos with closed eyes now with ai assisted editing as you can see here save hours of time by training a personal ai editing profile that will mirror your style or by using a pre-built ai style that will dynamically adjust its editing to every photo right you can elevate your post processing work your pp because after shoot will help you speed up and simplify every step of the process like importing calling editing and exporting and you can get your time back and use it to focus on important things all right here you can try aftershot for free if you are interested and again i'm a user of both um apps i'm using imagine and i after shoot all right so you can select with confidence something like there and you can export with ease get going in a single click click export directly on lightroom capture run or photo mechanic and choose higher resolution from web ready and other custom formats and of course you have the classic folder export now here if you are interested about the pricing if it fits your needs your goal and budget all right all we're gonna do is simply when you click explore ai calling when you click on that you will be directed to a new page wherein you need to log in or get after shoot right so here are some of the features that you want AI automated calling. The AI analyzes the images and selects the best ones for you to review, right? It's really the best, one of the best tools that I've been using right now. It has also an AI assisted calling, all right? Create, create your own collections while benefiting from key faces detection, duplicates, grouping, and image scores, all right? So why after shoot calling is faster and better? So here are some information about that. Group the rejects, all the duplicates, blurry images, and photos will be blinks and closed eyes are grouped separately so that you don't have to review them. So say for example, you've been shooting like a thousand images. It's gonna be tedious, right? So AI, after shoot AI will be here to help you. You can also have take creative control over all final selections, right? It's customizable to fit your particular taste and needs and you decide which photos get picked and which are rejected. But the best part is the more you use it, the better and more accurate it will get by learning from your final selection. So it's, it um, analyzes your behavior and pattern patterns of your workflow. All right. So here are some powerful features, smart calling, key faces detection, my selections and survey more. This is what I do simple sample workflow i click on that and loads all the photos and then i i click on start calling this is very accurate because i've been doing it right see see like that it's loading like uh i was like loading a thousand photos you know see there's a lot of duplicates so you can remove that already so this part alone is can save you so much time you know if you ask me really so here's some testimonials you know so simply you can start your 30 days free trial when you click on that you need to log in using your um you can continue if you have a google account or with your apple account now the question is which is better after shoot or imagine ai so if you ask me it's really um hard to uh compare the two because it's really challenging um using uh, these uh, platforms because for one you have to examine these aspects yourself to help determine which tools aligns better with your specific requirements like workflow and preferences 
if after shoots offer unique features or functionalities you have to explore it yourself right because we have different workflows and approach to our photos especially in editing process or the post processing so i suggest why not take advantage of both and register and sign up for both imagine ai and after shoot and you decide you decide for yourself which is better right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching